I thought it might be useful for someone if I took a, a short video just showing this sliding motor base. Uh, I did mention it in a recent video. I thought in this video I might uh, just give you a bit more of a close-up view. I've been very pleased with it. It's a Dunlop BTL SM90-112. They're available in uh, various sizes and um, for, depending on what motor you've got you might find that uh, um, there might be a couple of different bases that might meet your requirements. I chose the next size up so this one, this base uh, will actually cater for much larger motors if I want. You can probably see uh, the spacing there. And uh, yeah, the reason I did that because I may step up a size of the motor later on. This just happens to be a, uh, I think it's a three quarter horsepower single phase motor. Um, roughly, uh, I think it's probably not a metric size, but it's roughly equivalent to a, a 90 frame, a 90L frame motor. Um, so I've just slackened off all the nuts because I was just doing some other adjustments. So you can see that we've got side to side movement as well, which obviously if you lock that off, um, that will be rigid. And uh, you can adjust the uh, belt tension via there. And it's really, really easy to use. There's also a little locking nut there as well. Um, pretty much, I think, for myself, all I'm going to be doing is uh, set the belt tension once and then forget it unless the belt stretches, of course. And, as, actually, as it's an old belt, I don't think it's going to do that very much. Uh, the reason uh, why I thought that this sliding base would be better than, say, bolting straight onto the side was, yeah, sure enough, um, most uh, motor mounts do allow for a little bit of movement there. So you could go up and down like so if you slackened off the uh, bolts. But um, I wanted flexibility and also, quite importantly, I wanted to switch out motors because uh, that's one of the things I'm planning to do. And uh, I don't want to drill loads and loads of holes. So to uh, mount this uh, mount, uh, all I had to do internally, there's just uh, four, four bolts going through. And so it's just going to stay like that. So whatever motor I get fitted on here in the future, or even if I get a counter shaft on, because I'm, I'm thinking possibly I might fit um, a one and a half horsepower DC motor on here, which I've got. But that runs a little bit quick, so I might have to have another counter shaft. So I can make a plate which mounts on the sliding plate. So, you know, it's it's really, really flexible for me. Um, I could have gone for a smaller sliding mount. Would have saved myself a few pounds, but very little. Uh, I paid about something like about £30 for this, which I feel is all right. Um, prior to buying it, I thought maybe the quality wasn't going to be so good. I wasn't too sure. Uh, it wasn't clear to me at the time of ordering. It was actually Dunlop made, which I think had I known then I would have had a little bit more certainty. Uh, it's certainly not cheap at all. Um, first impression when I got it was it is, is pretty heavy duty. It's, um, it weighs something like about three kilos just amount. So yeah, it's plenty, plenty strong enough. Um, there's no slop in it either. It's really, it's quite tight. These, these, uh, these slides are, yeah, they, they certainly don't just move up and down um, with ease. Uh, you've really, you've got to screw it to, uh, to get them to move. Um, so that, that's actually a real positive as far as I'm concerned. So there's no slop, there's, you're not adding any vibration into it. Um, the only, you know, this very, very tiny down point is that just behind here, um, there's a slight protrusion. So um, this plate, you probably don't want to mount uh, straight up to whatever you're going to mount it onto. I just added some spaces. I mean, it's a tiny thing. I don't know whether you can see that, but yeah, you can probably just see. I've put some washers behind. That really wasn't a problem at all. Uh, so I think I've probably used uh, M10 uh, machine screws there. And um, here, my, the screw size was limited by the uh, by the motor mount rather than this slot. I it could probably have gone for M10 there, but the motor slot uh, limited me to M8, so I just st stuck some washers there as well. Um, yeah, so really overall, very very pleased with that. I think it's going to be very flexible, uh, reasonable price. I know I could have made something myself, but uh, you know, uh, sometimes it's just worthwhile just spending a little money, and um, then I can get on with some other jobs which I actually want to be doing rather than make a sliding motor mount. So, um, yeah, um, hopefully uh, in uh, future videos, I'll actually show more of this uh, machine working. Uh, as I say, if I'm going to be uh, changing around the motors, then I might show you some uh, other stuff as well with the different motors. It does work well. Um, I've, uh, at the moment, it's very, very temporary, the wiring. 
uh, which I'm not going to be particularly happy about. There is the previous owner just had this to uh, switch on and off, uh, which I bypass. Not keen on that at all. So I need some sort of uh, no volt release switch. Uh, I also need a thermal overload as well. Um, so I'll probably be doing that myself because I was looking at um, um, motor di direct online. Um, starters for motors today with thermal overloads are a little bit expensive so i've got a thermal overload anyway so i'll probably wire something up myself if you don't know what i'm talking about i'm talking about one of these you know stop stop jobs um which um there is a start around there okay um so this one's also got a thermal overload as well um and that's what i want in this machine but as i say i'll probably rather than uh, commit to uh buying another one of those i'll probably uh make something of my own uh, custom design okay anyway so you know principal thing was just want to show you the motor mount um, very pleased with it um, there's plenty of movement up and down you know I did wonder about whether I should have this on the top or bottom but I'm quite pleased that I put it on the top and uh, yeah let's just if I just step back a little bit yeah there's my adjustment there okay so I haven't screwed the motor in yet, so I'm not going to uh, do it up tight. But uh, yeah, it's really, really easy uh, to change the height and to change the, therefore, change the belt tension. So yeah, great. Thirty pounds well spent, I think. So that was a Dunlop BTL SM90/112. If you're interested, I have no affiliation at all to Dunlop or the um, seller of them, um, but I bought them from a website called Bearing Boys probably .co.uk but it was definitely bearing boys okay hopefully that's a useful video to someone if you're thinking about having one of these mounts okay that's it